The Hamiltonian economic program was the set of measures that were proposed by American founding father and first secretary of the Treasury Alexander Hamilton in four notable reports and implemented by Congress during George Washington's first administration. These reports outlined a coherent program of national mercantilism government-assisted economic development. First report on public credit, pertaining to the assumption of federal and state debts and finance of the United States government 1790. Second report on public credit, pertaining to the establishment of a national bank 1790. Report on manufactures, pertaining to the policies to be followed to encourage manufacturing and industry within the United States 1791. Report on a plan for the further support of public credit, pertaining to how to deal with the system of public credit after Hamilton's resignation, including complete extinguishment of the public debt 1795. See also American School Economics, for the Hamiltonian American School of Economics practiced by the United States from 1790s to 1970s rooted in the three reports, based on tariffs which built the American industrial infrastructure Federalist Party, Hamilton's political party, which supported his program and pushed most of them through Congress. <laughs>